Phillips, the chief executive of the University of Texas system that covers 15 campuses, will announce his resignation. Francisco Cigarroa has been chancellor for the last five years, but today he plans on talking about why he's stepping down. Our Sophia Beausoleil is live from UT with the latest. Hi, Sophia. Hi, good morning, Brian. Well, our news partner, the Texas Tribune, got a copy of the email Cigarora sent to the UT administrators last night. And he says he wants to return to his lifelong love and passion of saving lives and will be the head of pediatric transplant surgery at the University of Texas Health Science Center at San Antonio. So. Sigoro says he plans on serving as chancellor until the Board of Regents finds his replacement. The 56-year-old wrote in his email, quote, my decision was not made lightly and attributed his choices to family. That includes staying in the UT system family and also honoring his parents' sacrifices for him to train as a physician. Sigoro says it's a bittersweet time for him and he will miss interacting with university leaders on a daily basis. And it's worth noting part of his term has been consumed with tensions between the Board of Regents and UT Austin President Bill Powers. Segarora is expected to make his special announcement this morning at 11 o'clock, and we will have coverage later on on KXAN News 5, 6, 9, and 10. Reporting live from the University of Texas, Sophia Beausoleil, KXAN News. Okay, thank you, Sophia. Well, we took some time this morning to research the highlights of Segarora's five years at the helm of the UT system. He has a number of accomplishments worthy of mentioning. Those include establishing a new uni university in South Texas with a medical school, plus developing a new medical school at the University of Texas here in Austin. The Dell Medical School is set to open in 2016.